if you've got an inbox, which I hope you do because I think everybody has at this point, you probably understand the pain and the time that it takes to reply to emails, go through previous messages in order to reply properly to that email, categorize them and just figure out what's important or not to just sort out all that mess. So in this video, I want to bring you this AI system that solves that pain point. It will send personalized emails with context from previous threads if you sent emails back and forth with that person before. It would also automatically assign labels to it so that next time that you go in your inbox, you don't have to swift through that mess. You can just go to the urgent section or the finances section and just read the relevant emails there. So it's gonna pretty much do everything for you. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to build it. So let's cut the fuzz and let's get straight to it. All right, so here is the email system, which is split into different sections so that you can follow easier. And I'm gonna go through this, but before doing that, I'm gonna show you a couple of examples of how the output from the system looks like. So we're gonna go here and just send a sample email to one of my burner accounts. So in this case, it's regarding a sponsorship opportunity from Jessica from Startup Spark. So we're gonna send that through and then I should be waiting for this email here. Whilst I'm waiting for the email, you can see that uh, the system has already replied to a couple of other emails. So you can see here in the labels, replied by AI, and it also labels them as urgent, unwanted, one that is a sponsorship and, and so on, right? So by just labeling it, it's already very useful. But now, since we received the email, we're gonna launch this system, we're gonna run it. By the way, I'm running it manually because I'm, you know, as a demo, but you can set it to active here on the top part, right? So it's gonna run on a polling basis. It's gonna run every minute. It's gonna check your email every minute, essentially. And when it detects a new email, it's going to run this automation. So, okay, so now we're gonna go back, we're gonna go back here, and now we're gonna refresh this to see the changes made by the system. And you can see here, the system has added two labels. The first one, which is reply by AI to let us know that the system has taken care of that email. And the second one, sponsorship, just to let us know that it's a sponsorship. So we're gonna click here and we're gonna see this email. And you can see that we see the two labels, as I said, very important. And now we can see the reply that it did. So it understood the name. Thank you for reaching out about a potential collaboration. I appreciate my kind words. I'm always interested in exploring partnerships. Uh, to move forward, I'd be happy to review. Could you please send over a brief overview once I have this information? So it's actually a pretty good reply. Pretty good, I'm really happy with it. And then it just signs off as me, right? Best regards, Frank. And you can change all this in the prompt, right? You can add your own tone of voice. You can add your background and context and your ideal way of responding to emails. So I think, I think it's great. Yeah, so I'm gonna, not gonna reply with it because it's it's going to one of my emails. All right, so now we're gonna send another email regarding an exposure of OpenAI API keys, which is not ideal for anybody. So I'm gonna send that through. And then we're gonna wait for the email to be received in this inbox here. Now we're gonna go to system, run it up. And as I said, you can put this on active. So it's gonna run every minute to check for your emails automatically. And then if there's an email, then it's going to reply or work accordingly. That's the email probably responded to successfully. The workflow has finished. Okay, and now we can see that it has labeled it as urgent because it's it's problem regarding an API exposure. And let's let's have a look at it. Okay, so we can see here that, yeah, so we detected one of your, and then it asked a question as well. So whenever there is uh, some sort of urgent action to be taken, and the person is not asking any questions. I mean, the person, you know, sending the email to us is not asking any questions or any actions or any replies to be made. Then uh, there's a setting, there's a variable in the system, which the LLM fills in that understands or, or outputs whether an email needs to be replied to or not. Because many emails are just, hey, you know, I just want to notify you that this is happening. That's it, right? And if that's the case, then we don't need a reply. So this system is also made to handle that. It's also made to handle emails that don't need replies back. So it's, it's very good, it's, very, it's a very flexible system. So we can see here the response. In this case, we're getting asked, so would you like us to set up an automated secret, whatever. Thank you, whatever, I will take action to address this, revoke, blah, blah, blah. blah. Regarding your offer for automated secret scanning, Yes, I will be very interested. Could you please provide details, right? It's, it's all very good. And then it signs off. So it's, it's, it's really good, it's really good. And once again, it does the labels. So I'm really happy with it. I'm actually uh, using it right now and it, it's, it's working great. Although you might want to change the prompts, but we're going to discuss that in a second when you see how it works. So let's, let's go through that right now. So first of all, we add a trigger. So you're going to see that we're going to search on our end, on our email regarding credentials. If you go here, if you're on your cloud account, you're going to just sign in. So it's relatively easy to do on a, on a cloud account. If you're working locally, then you're going to have to go through that manual setup, which is setting up a Google Cloud project and then getting the credentials, right? The, the project keys and whatnot. So if you want a video on how to do that, 
locally, let me know. But you know, if you're just a beginner, I suggest you getting a, a cloud account. It just makes everything easier. But yeah, mode is every minute. You can set it up every hour if you want, whatever you prefer. You can even set custom as well. So that's it. And then we are essentially looping for, we're doing this process for every email that is received, you know, every minute in this case. So if in the next minute we receive five emails, we're gonna do the same thing for all the five emails. So this is great. That means we're able to spend some time on each email and, and reply accordingly. So whenever we deal with multiple objects, multiple emails, multiple whatever, we tend to do it with a loop uh, in place. So now we are going to get the thread messages, right? So in this case, there was no thread messages. That's why this is not popping up in green, but this is great to have in case we already engaged in a conversation with that person, right? We already send emails back and forth and we just need to understand the previous email in order to reply to this new email, right? Perhaps the previous email was talking about a meeting regarding this and that, and then the new email is about, well, when can we schedule the meeting? Or maybe it's asking a question about that previous message. So. You know, this is, this is great in this case. We can have context of the previous conversations. So in this case, we're getting the latest message ID. You can put it so that it grabs, you know, the last two items, the last three items, right? The last two, three emails, whatever you want, right? So it's up to you to decide. So we're getting the latest message and then we are getting the labels and, you know, essentially we're getting the labels made for all, uh, for everything. Okay. Hi there, just briefly want to stop the video to announce that I have finally launched my community, Neuro Architects, where I plan to bring together the smartest people in this space and business owners that want to build the systems of the future together using artificial intelligence. So inside this community, you'll find everything ranging from all the templates that I will make from the YouTube videos, as well as exclusive community calls, and also so much other stuff. So join right now, stay tuned, and I'll see you inside. So we see here, we also have other labels right? Social updates, forums, promotions, and all that. So we don't want to add those. We want to add only the labels that we made. So here on the bottom left. So that's why we are getting those that have only been made by the user. So if the messages, so the labels have been made by the user, not the system. Okay. So if type is user, then we're going to pass them through. So you can see here that we have six labels, right? Defined by the user. So unwanted schedule finances, blah, blah, blah. Okay. And these ones, you can see that Important draft, draft, spam, updates, right? We don't want that stuff. Right, so now we just set the user labels and then this is one of the main, one of the main sections of the, of the system, right? We are assessing the email. So we need to understand what kind of labels to apply to it, whether it's urgent and whatnot. So we pass it the message, the subject, the metadata from the email, any attachments. So regarding the attachments, I'm essentially adding as much as possible from the information that we are given from the Gmail API, right? And one of them is the attachments. So uh, the plan was to add a route or, or add an additional section on the system that allows you to process certain attachments, right? You might have invoices that you want to process and pass through and collect on a Google Sheet, for example, or you know process that attachment to another LLM right? We can add it perhaps on the LLM responsible of generating an output, a reply, so that it has more context, right? Perhaps it's an image that goes along with the message and, you know, we need to use that image to help with the reply. So, you know, help with the replies and also uh, perhaps for invoices and whatnot. So if you want to see a video about that, let me know in the community. So feel free to join the Neuro Architects community. It's free and you can ask me there uh, whatever you want. But yeah, it's it's there just because uh, in case you might want to build on top of the system. But yeah, I added as much as I think is needed. We had the message thread, category labels and what, whatnot. And then the prompt here. So this prompt is so that we can evaluate these incoming emails and then determine uh, the priority and any actions needed, okay? And there's a bunch of stuff that I added. The example, output JSON that we need to send, and then a couple of other examples. So you'll be able to access this and the community, okay? I'll leave it as, as, as one of the templates. But yeah, that's basically what we're doing. And we're adding an output parser because this is gonna come uh, very handy in this next stage where we're gonna do some routing in order to understand what actions we need to take and which, which sections here we need to trigger, okay? So the output parser is gonna allow us to then do this routing here. So here we're understanding whether it's worth a response because as I said, some emails don't require a response. They might just be a, an alert for us to just read the message and acknowledge it. Another one is to let us know if we need to add a label to it. And then the one if the message is urgent, right? It's very important. So the label is so that we're able to assign an output label 
I mean, we're able to assign that label, but also we're able to just tell the user, right? In this case, me or, or whoever is using the system, that the message has been processed by the system, right? So that's what it is. And then always leave the here. We, we're just going through if the message is worth a reply. If it is worth a reply, then we're taking them through this. So we're sending the subject and the message, and then we're adding a message here with a couple of guidelines regarding on how the this LLM chain should answer our email. So in here, I put the conclude with best regards, Frank. You can put your name, you can put whatever you want here. And as I said, so for this, and perhaps for this as well, you can both change the prompts, okay? This is what I think is relevant to me for my use case, but feel free to change them, okay? So, um, so yeah. And then we're actually creating the draft, right? As I said, I don't wanna send this straight away because I wouldn't rely on AI models 100%, there might be an important contact that you're talking to, and we don't want the LLM to, you know, to fail in that in that sense. You might want to tweak it, so that's why it's good to have a draft. I'm choosing Anthropic, especially for here. Here, you might want to add another model, but in here, I think it's important because it's really good with performing any coding programming tasks or any uh, structured outputs, right? Sort of, uh, we're sending a structured JSON message, so Anthropic is really good with that. I can make a video about which LLMs to use for white cases. If that's the case, then drop me a comment. But but yeah, so you can change this. I, I, you can change it for, for GPT or whatever. I just added this for convenience. So I explained this, you know, we are aggregating the labels IDs, the label IDs. So yeah, nothing, nothing much going on here. And yeah, so once we have processed this email, right, and we label it as, as processed by AI or processed by the system, we're gonna go back and do the same, do the same process for all of the emails. And over here, there's a little section, okay? So if the LLM here, this LLM chain, decides that this is urgent, okay? So we are already assigning a label as urgent here, but we added here another section. So if you want to get notified, not through email, so you want to get quickly notified on another app that you're currently using, like daily, or at all times, so perhaps you're using WhatsApp, Telegram, Discord on your phone or whatever. So there's an option as well to send a notification, okay? So perhaps you're on your phone, you're not checking your email, and then there's an urgent thing that you need to do right now. So you have the option to send a notification to whatever app you're using. So in this case, I'm using Discord. You can add Telegram, WhatsApp, whatever you want, okay? But um, that's, that's pretty much it. As I said, I'll leave this in the community, in the Neural Architects community. Join while it's free and you know, get the chance to download it and, and mess around with it, improve on it, uh, add whatever you want. And as I said, you know, there's an opportunity there with attachments. So let me know if you want me to make a video about that. You can have that process by another LLM to add additional context or, you know, for invoices. If you want to classify that as an invoice and send that through CRM, such as Google Sheets, for example, and whatnot. And lastly, I want to shout out to an N18 developer called Simon. He inspired the creation of this workflow here. So shout out to Simon. Okay, and that's pretty much it. That's the end of this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and a follow. Uh, it really helps the channel a lot. And if you didn't like the video for some reason, please let me know why in the comments below. Any feedback is good feedback. Okay guys, see you in the next one.